So I'm finally have reunited with the vintage caravan. I feel like I kind of abandoned it for a while while I've done a bit of a trip. <laughs> but in the next couple of days I want to get it roadworthy. Well kind of strong enough to be able to handle a two hour drive to a winter spot. Before now I had attempted to get it ready but just ran out of time. So I'll show you what I've done so far. One thing is I've been procrastinating about this. The danger label is insane and it's a little bit off-putting. Uh, but this is for the new wood that I've added to the caravan to try to make it more waterproof which I think would be a good idea. And thank you Ron Hill for purchasing the epoxy. So Vinny has been moved closer to the entrance, far away from all of that mud. Into more mud. <laughs> yeah, more mud, different type of mud. Instead of adding the back seams back on, Hayden's just going to add a couple of screws. Just as a, a, quick, a quick fix so that I don't worry that the whole back's going to come off when we shift it. I'm slightly relieved that Hayden's uh, getting it ready. I'm actually feeling so tired today. Ah, look how easy it was done. Hayden's a bit worried about the door catching the wind and flying off and from my experience with towing it Yes, that's probably the part that could cause problems on moving locations. Hayden, what's your game plan? I'm going to jump in and close the door. Hayden's gotta try and squeeze out of this tiny hole. What do you reckon? <laughs> do you think he's gonna make it? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> A little bit of a bum crack, but you made it! Congratulations, Hayden. <laughs> I honestly didn't know if you'd make it. I remember that I spent my younger days as a caver. Yeah, I yeah. Can't get over how Hayden can just throw together something like that, which would have taken me hours, absolutely hours. So the caravan's sitting there tonight near the entrance of the orchard, and then after Hayden's day job tomorrow, we're hooking up, he's taking the vintage caravan and I'm going to follow behind. I just gonna I'm gonna get my wheel lock just to be safe. <laughs> Hayden thinks it'll be fine, but I don't know, it's it's now closer to the gate. It's got quite a lot of tools and accessories that I've been buying, so I think I'd rather just have that little extra security going on, I think. Hayden's still at work, it's about 3 p.m. It's been getting dark around 4.30 lately because the shortest day of the year just passed a couple of days ago. So luckily it's gonna start getting lighter, but it means we might be driving in the dark, which I do not particularly enjoy. But with this amount of rain, I feel okay. 
I can comfortably tow with this amount of rain. I've done it before. Could be a little interesting getting it out. But Hayden's just message saying it's raining a lot at the farm too. So it might be best just to wait until tomorrow and move. It rained all last night. There's a lot of clay in the soil. So the water just sits on top. <laughs> right, now we're properly packing up and finally leaving. How confident are you feeling? Uh, 110%. <laughs> Do you think it's going to be fine? Will we be okay? <laughs> be good to good to get it there. I'd be um, driving slower than normal stuck behind him but no Hayden raced off <laughs> I hardly saw him <laughs> so what was it like to tow <laughs> oh, easy, easy. You're racing off into the distance. <laughs> yeah, it was easy. Was I too slow? Uh, no. <laughs> There's a few times I slowed down for you. Did you? I yeah. didn't notice that. <laughs> but, uh, that was just like the natural flow. Oh yeah. What did you think of the road? It's interesting. It was interesting drive, but pretty windy. Interesting yeah. scenery, especially with the flooded rivers. It was rather wet. Yeah. It was weird. I don't think I've got the right tip. It's not, it's not working. 